the cast wins the title, the king of bloopers. Whoa, Scott, come on! Come on! Come on! All right, I'm gonna uh, do it again. What is the price of Tyler Hecklin's stunning abs? Shirtlessness? Yeah. Go watch the trailer. <laughs> there was more than I thought there was. I did not remember taking my shirt off that many times this season. And what are the most insane shipping experiences of the Teen Wolf cast? This is a ship thing on oh, Twitter. Shit, it's a sexual it's relationship. Is, is that what it is? Yeah. Hello, Teen Wolf lovers. It's time to make a short throwback to the most hilarious bloopers from the set. B unit or two unit? Second unit. It's not going. We'll start with one of the most hilarious characters, both on the show and in real life. You know exactly who I'm talking about. <laughs> Dylan O'Brien definitely wins the title, the king of bloopers of Teen Wolf. Quit it. Yep. <laughs> Most of the cast members shared that it's absolutely impossible to stay calm and serious around him. They never knew what was coming next when Dylan was around. <laughs> However, sometimes having too much fun behind the scenes can have a bad influence on the actual takes. Right, Dylan? God, what? Uh, what, what, what is it? Coach uses it to monitor his heart rate while he jogs with his phone. Ah, that I stole. That I stole. That I stole. We're done. Seems like O'Brien didn't have enough fun playing Styles, so he decided to create a completely new character for himself behind the scenes. The scandalous, impudent, always drunk, and even more hilarious Void Styles. Ever since he became Void, he's just been like, he's just not the same. Hey bro, oh, what's up, bitch? Oh, was that your water? That sucks. <laughs> Poor Tyler. Imagine having such a bully as a colleague on set. What's my f***ing autograph? <laughs> I hate Void Styles so much. I bet Tyler was not the only one to hate this unbearable douche. It's all right, we're ready for you whenever you are. Oh, you're ready for me? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's very funny. I'm not exactly ready for you. So, uh, take it easy. The fans seemed to like this improvised Void Styles miniseries so much that they suggested the creators film a whole new spin-off, claiming that Dylan's character has never been that cool before. So I have to change wardrobe? How the f*** do you look? What a character. What a loss for the series. The Teen Wolf creators should have taken a closer look at Dylan's creation. Does Void Styles deserve his own series? Let us know what you think, because true fans are persuaded one day this guy is getting an Oscar. Signing the lens. So, while Dylan invents new roles offset, Tyler Posey directly demands radical changes to his character's storyline. I want to be naked more this season. Is that. <laughs> I'm gonna start right now, damn it! You're not sure it was ever. Wow! Seems like fans would have definitely appreciated such a customization. Start now. I know, I haven't been shirtless for a while. Not me either. And you've been working out for And I've been working out. Jeff, have me be shirtless, please. Got That's it. one thing I would change about my character. I would be shirtless more. Can't complain about such a great suggestion. The director should have listened more to Tyler. Come on, guys. This man's been working out damn hard. Let him show what he's got. This guy definitely loves himself, so much so that he can find a picture of his own abs out of hundreds. Just look at the Teen Wolf cast playing Guess the Wolf Abs Quiz. Having a moment. That's me, that's me. You know yourself very well, it's Dude, Tyler nice Posey. Abs, <laughs> look at those abs! When the cast is full of hot and fit true wolves, fans are obviously gonna demand to see more. So Tyler Posey was not the only one fans constantly beg to take his shirt off more frequently. Seems like people are not that interested in the storyline sometimes. Just listen to this journalist's question. I'm really worried that Derek might be dead, but I know that the fans are excited that there's gonna be plenty of shirtlessness coming down the pipeline. Keep just tease way. us with a little bit, please. And it isn't just fans who consider this man to be extremely hot. His co-stars have the exact same opinion about his physical appearance. Why does Derek have like the worst life ever? Have you seen Tyler Hecklin? We have to torture him because otherwise everything's just like, you know, too sexy for him. <laughs> right? Yeah. But those never came easy for him. 
Tyler Hecklin shared it was especially hard while filming season two. I will say season two was the most demanding, you know, being the alpha. Uh, I thought that it was, you know, a responsibility to be physically bigger and stronger being that character. Still, hard work always pays off. Making that much effort was definitely worth it. However, it's understandable how hard it is to keep in such fantastic shape. No surprise, the actor was happy to finally take his diet and training a bit easier in the following seasons. Since then, it's been a little bit easier, you know, like letting go of the alpha powers. I actually was not too upset about that because that, that was a happy day for me and my diet. Well, Ty, fans love you in any shape and in every single season. It's impossible to not fall in love with such a guy. Right, Dylan? On and off camera. I, is that true? Can we, have we got an exclusive? Is this a romance that's blossoming? Uh, he's got a great sense of humor. He's got a great sense of humor. <laughs> In a black t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like these two share a true bromance. Constantly joking and having a lot of fun together on set and off set. Just look at them. Tyler. Yeah. Wake up. Oh. We're on a ship. Adorable. No wonder fans have been constantly shipping these two. Now watch Tyler and Colton figuring out what shipping is. I think shipping is like a relationship online. it's when you it's when you mix two like we uh, or Dylan and Tyler are steric steric yeah that's a that's a and ship Holland and I are Holton of course Dylan and Tyler were not the only pairing that fans wanted to become a thing in real life sometimes crazy shippers may be a bit extra aren't we aren't we together in real life instead of our characters I think we have a child together on, oh no we definitely have a child yeah together. Carlos Colton Posey yeah <laughs> on Twitter and they made a Twitter they made a Twitter <laughs> and they, they made we, a Twitter we get part. tweets from Carlos, our son, saying, Hey, Daddy. Imagine finding out about the existence of a child you never heard about. Hilarious. Congrats, guys. It's a boy. Oh, Is it one of those dad. really horrible things where they like morph they mixed faces our faces together, together. and yes. a baby? Did they really? <laughs> they did. I haven't seen it. It looks just like us. Too. Oh, it's creepy. Baby. Yeah. Let us know in the comments, what is your dream pairing from the show? However, in real life, all of the cast members are extremely close friends. Tyler Posey shared during Comic-Con, super close homies and we that's why it's so easy for us to mess with each other yeah. and I, yeah we we have the best relationship out of any cast i think ever and it's absolutely true the guys are always there for each other caring and loving oh and sharing food when the take turns out to be too long you're in my shot you always try to steal the scene just get out of the shot yeah no good complimenting each other Somebody, you know. the best at it too no, all yeah. right. Let's. Tyler. Cool. Tyler. What? Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. He gets embarrassed when I when I compliment him. It's very cute, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh my God. Fixing each other's looks. And simply always being nice to each other. Hey, sweetie. So, just to sum everything up. We have a genuine love for one another, and it's all genuine. If you enjoyed our Teen Wolf hilarious bloopers, go watch more videos like this on our channel. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay awesome.